I have an exciting announcement. We finally finished putting together our first ever hotkey guide for those who are learning Blender and 3D modeling. It's split up into sections in order to be as easy to read and learn from as possible, and this only contains hotkeys that I use on a regular basis that are actually useful. And starting today, it's included in the Gumroad version of this course at no extra cost. Get it today to get the final Love Chan model, downloadable videos, a low poly turnaround drawing, and more coming soon. The price of the Gumroad version will increase after this series is fully complete, so by all means, if you want the absolute best value, tap that link below today. Let's model her face. Now, this can be very complicated, but it's really not too bad if we simplify it out. This is one of the hardest things to model in 3D, but we're gonna do some things here to make our lives a lot easier, including clicking on our reference here in object mode, lowering this opacity down a bit, like so. And we're also going to be using a new tool called the knife tool. But before that, let's look at what we're gonna be making here. This is what we're going to be modeling, right? And we can see here that this model is actually not too complicated. And we really only need to worry about one view at a time, modeling this front view right here and modeling this side view right here. And there's a very limited amount of vertices we have to worry about here. So just to start out with, we're only gonna be worrying about modeling this front view. But you know, it's got some faces, it's got a nose, but it's really not too complicated once you break it down. So to do that, I am going to spawn in a plane, Shift A, Mesh, Plane. Then I'm gonna to go to Edit Mode, rotate this plane along the X axis 90 degrees, firm that, go to the front view orthographic, scale it down, G, Z to move it up. Then I'm gonna press Alt Z to go into X-ray, G, Let's see, move it down and scale it down like so. Now, I am going to immediately use the loop cut tool, put a loop cut there, go to select box, face select, and delete half of our face here. Then I'm going to go to modifiers, add modifier, search, type in mirror, or in my case here, mirrors right there. Then I'm going to go to vertex select, select this vertex, move it up this vertex and move it to the side a little bit. Then I'm gonna to wanna to use a brand new tool here called the knife tool. This knife tool lets you create new edges from existing edges. You're basically cutting into edges, which is why it's called the knife tool. So I'm gonna click on knife here. And when I do that and click on an edge, you're gonna see this little uh, green square up here, I guess. I've never really thought about it, but it's a green square. <laughs> so I'm gonna click on this edge and this green square, square will appear. Then I'm gonna drag it over and click right there to confirm that green square. And again, we're gonna go back to our reference here. We're gonna see that this face is kind of, you know, there's, there's edges right here. There's edges that go here, edges go here, edges go here. And we wanna replicate this as closely as we can. I'm actually gonna put this on my other monitor so I can reference it. So now that we have this edge here, I'm going to go to select box, move this down so it matches our reference uh, more closely. Move this over like this, move this down so this matches our reference more closely. And keep in mind in this, by using this course, by purchasing the course, you can download this 3D model, which you can reference yourself. Um, so at any point, if you get stuck, you can always download and reference the 3D model included with this course. So now that that's pretty close to our reference here, I'm going to go to the knife tool, click right here, bring this into the center, kind of where her nose is like that. Then I'm going to cut right here by clicking right here and clicking this vert like so, and then pressing enter. So you just click, click, enter to confirm. That's how the knife tool works. I'm gonna click here click here, click here, enter to confirm, click here, click here, enter to confirm, then click here, click right here, and then enter to confirm. Now that that's all set up and good to go, this is looking pretty close to what we have here, though I will also add a few edges right here just to match what we have in our reference. So now that that's all set up, I'm going to move some verts around. I'm gonna move this down on the Z axis a little bit. I'm going to move this in a little bit. Move this down on the Z axis a little bit. 
and move these up on the z-axis like so. And move this to the side a little bit. So this is looking great. This is looking really close to my reference, but there's a problem. And our problem is if we move out of the front view here, this is perfectly flat. So we totally nailed this view. Like if we go to the front view here, this looks like really similar. But the problem is, if we go to the side view, it's totally flat, right? Whereas if we go to the side view of this, our reference, it's not flat, it's 3D. So now our job is to match what the side view of our reference looks like here to the side view in uh, our scene. So to do that, I'm gonna select the nose and just press G and then uh, Y to move that out. Press this, select this, G then Y to move that out, it's like both of these, G, Y to move them out. Then I'm gonna to go to uh, numpad three on my keyboard. And then I'm gonna to try to line these up with our face here. Uh, oops, numpad three, my bad. That wasn't the correct orthographic view. So now I'm gonna move these over by pressing G plus Y. This over by pressing G plus Y. Like so, move this in. Uh, kind of rotate these like this down, put this up, and put this uh, maybe even a little further up. Kind of just move things around like that. And I can see just by looking at this, like our nose is supposed to be, you know, there's a point out and then we have this triangle shape. Not the case with this right now. So we have to move this back, move this down, move this up. And I can see that there's two verts here, which we don't want. So to fix that, I'm gonna select this vertice, then I'm gonna select this vertice, then press F3 to go to the search function and type in merge. So now that I've typed in merge, I'm going to do merge at last. And that's looking pretty good now. It's kind of what we want it to look like. Again, I'm just referencing my 3D model here of the final Love Chan, and this is looking pretty good, pretty close. You can see that this is way over this is also way over on my reference here. Like these are way over and it doesn't actually go that far back because uh, that just gets filled in with hair later on. So at least on mine, yours might vary. You can always change that up. Um, and yeah, now I'm gonna go to the solid view and try to recreate this, you know, this pattern here where we have the under jaw and these like edges right here. So we're, I'm just comparing, okay, where are their edges on my reference? which I can see like here, edge, edge, edge. And now I just want to recreate that on my 3D model here. And to do that, once again, I'm going to use the knife tool, select, uh, press Alt-A to deselect all. Then I will make an edge by clicking this vertice. I'll click here, and I'll click here. Press Enter to confirm. Then I'll click here, click here, press Enter to confirm. And I'll click here, and then here. Press Enter to confirm, Alt-A to like that. Now it looks like there might be another, an extra edge we don't need right here. Yes, there is. And to remove that, I'm going to go to a select box. Then I'm going to go to edge select by pressing two, select this edge, and then I'm going to press delete and then dissolve edges like so, because this can just be a quad like that. And we're looking pretty good. I'm going to go to the side view here and compare my reference against my current model. And I can see just by looking at my reference, this should be further down more. So I'm gonna select this vert, drag that down a little bit. I drag this over. I press Alt, -Z, excuse me, I can press, yeah, Alt Z to uh, see how it's looking compared to my image reference. And it's looking pretty good. It's lined up nicely. Love to see that. And this is looking pretty good as well. I'll move this over because I can see my reference does. I'm gonna go to the front view by pressing one. And it looks like things got a little misaligned in our front view, but that's fine. I can just box select, move over, box select, move over, box select, move over. Select this, move it over. And it's looking pretty, ooh, I don't wanna do that. I wanna make sure I'm along the Z axis. This wants to actually, let's, let's press Alt Z so we can actually see this looks like a solid view. All right. That's looking pretty nice, looking pretty nice. This I can probably put back a little bit. Then I just wanna rotate around my model really and just see how things are looking. The nose looks a little, little small here, so 
move this a little bit, maybe. So move this down and back a little bit so it's kind of a little more pointy. Because I like how I like that look. It looks nice. This is totally up to you, totally personal preference from this point on. But if you want to change and modify, it's totally up to you. Just gonna go by eye here. And uh, looks like this is a little bit further up in my reference, maybe. These are definitely whoop, these are definitely further up. And what's awesome is because this is we're using a mirror modifier. This is gonna be perfectly mirrored on the other side. It looks like I messed up and this vert, there's a little hole here because this vert got moved uh, a little bit in along the X axis. So to fix that, I could just move it in like this. It's like press G and then X and just kind of wait until the merge kicks in. So that's, that's how to fix that. And this is looking pretty nice actually. I'm liking how this head looks. It's lining up, it's looking nice. And I think it matches up with our reference quite nicely. So our reference here looks spot on. Look go to the front view. Reference here looks great. It looks very, very similar. I'll actually move this up a little bit because I think it looks a little bit better. So yeah, that's how you model a head. That's how you model a face. Remember, you can always find references for 3D models online. There's a really good resource called uh, 3D Modelers Resource, or rather, the models resource. And if you want excellent resources, this is just a website. It's a great website. And for our purposes here, if you search Mega Man Legends, for example, you're gonna get so many excellent, excellent 3D models in this art style. Um, and just click on them and then go to Mega Man Legends 2 in our case here. Or you can click on this one, go to Mega Man Legends 1 and you have all these amazing 3D models you can download and look at the topology on. Just download these, import them to Blender and you'll have amazing, amazing references. So that's our face all modeled. And in the next video, we're going to model the hair. Congratulations on getting this far. You've already modeled most of Love Chan. Remember to check out the Gumroad version of this course, which is linked in the video description below and get it today if you want the absolute best value and bang for your buck on it. Please comment below and like the video if you find this series helpful and subscribe and hit the bell so you get notifications and you never miss new content arriving on this channel. It helps a ton. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.